Welcome to Exo Add-ons. Today I'll give you an overview of our new feature, which is the News Slider. During this demo, I'll show you how to get an animated news slider in five simple steps. Okay, so the first step is going to be cloning the project. For this step, we're going to um, go to our GitHub repository. In this, you'll find your CSS folder, which contains the style sheet a JS folder in which you'll see the jQuery API, a resources folder, and a new slider template. Alright, now the second step will be um, adding the resources. For this we're going to go back to the Exo platform. First you're going to navigate to the content then file explorer. You'll add a new content folder. Let's name this one news folder in which you'll add the new content based on the free layout template. All right. Now, let's name this one Lorem Ipsum. Then you're going to add your content. Now you'll go to the illustration tab, upload an illustration image and enter the summary in which you wish to be displayed in the newsletter. Then you'll save the content and you need to publish the content in order for it to be displayed in the view mode. For testing, you can import the artifact in the resources folder. Then you need to add the style sheet which can be found in the CSS folder. You need to also add the jQuery API from the JS folder. You can add them all through a multiple upload. Now we'll move to the third step, which is updating the resources path. For this, you're going to go back to the JS file, right click on it, and select Copy URL to Clipboard. Now, ensure that this URL doesn't contain the slash private in order for it to, to display the content for public access. Now, go back to the template file, new slider CLV template, and update the location of the resources. Make sure you do this for both JS and CSS files. Now, the fourth step will be adding the new slider template. For that, we'll use the XO IDE application. Select the DMS system workspace. Navigate to the XO ECM Views Templates Content List Viewer List Add a new template. Copy and paste the content for the GTMPL file, new slider, CLV template, into this template and save it as a new slider. Now we'll move to the last step, which is adding and configuring the CLV portlet, which will display our news slider. For that, we'll go back to the website. Here we'll choose the Acme, edit the page layout. From the page editor, we'll select the content list portlet. After adding it via drag and drop, add it in order to add configurations. Select the folder that contains news in our case called the news folder. Then select our new slider CLV template. Then you'll indicate how many items you want to display and save the configuration. Our new slider is now ready to use. You may navigate in news and enjoy the jQuery animation. You may also update the content of each entry based on our content management system's capabilities as a WYSIWYG feature 
or you can also return to the back office and make a deep update of the web content. Thank you very much for your patience and your time, and we hope you enjoy.